Electricity. Electricity was a discovery, by the work of many great minds, throughout history. Electricity is a natural phenomenon, that occurs throughout nature, and takes many different forms. It has been existing, right from the beginning of the earth, in the form of lightning. Long before, any knowledge of electricity existed, people were aware of shock, from electric fish. Ancient Egyptian texts referred, to these fish as, the thunder of the Nile. Amber is a fossilized tree resin, and ancient people knew, that amber rod could be rubbed with, cat's fur to attract, light objects like feathers. This was later known to be static electricity. Around 600 BCE, Greek philosopher, Thales of Miletus, made a series of observations on static electricity. But it wouldn't be until the 1600s, that it was studied scientifically. The term electricity was coined, in the early 1600 AD, by a British scientist William Gilbert, who was studying the effects of electricity, and magnetism on amber. In the 18th century, Benjamin Franklin conducted, extensive research on electricity. He was able to prove, that lightning was a form of electricity, by his famous kite experiment. It was performed in Philadelphia, in June 1752. Also this experiment led him to invent, the lightning rod. He flew a kite, into an approaching thunderstorm. With the help of his son William, he made a simple kite, with a silk handkerchief, instead of paper, as it would not dare, with wind and rain. He attached a pointed wire, to the top of the kite, as a conductor. At the bottom end of the string, he attached a silk ribbon. The ribbon was kept dry, as it was held by Franklin, in the doorway, of a shed, to protect himself from being electroshocked. A metal key was fastened, where the string and the ribbon join, and was connected to a Leiden jar, by metal rod, so that it could accumulate electricity. Leiden jar is a device, that could store an electrical charge, for later use. When thunderclouds passed over the kite, Franklin noticed, loose threads on the kite string, starting to stand on end. He then touched his knuckle, to the key, and received an electric shock, proving that the kite was conducting electricity. The kite was not struck by lightning directly. Instead, the conductor drew the electrical charge, from the storm clouds to the kite, and it flowed down the wet string through the metal key, into the Leiden jar. He was even able to collect, some of the electric charge in the Leiden jar. Through such people as, Alessandro Volta, Michael Faraday, Nikola Tesla, and many more great scientists, electricity turned from a scientific curiosity, into an essential tool for modern life. We use electricity for almost everything we do, every single day of our lives. We use it for devices, that we are increasingly dependent on. We use it for home appliances, to keep ourselves and our homes comfortable. And also wireless transmitters, data centers and factories, are built with huge power demands. The discovery and harnessing of electricity, help to keep our lives functioning, 